माननीय सभापति जी सर द पावर मिनिस्टर इज मिसिंग इज इल कम फाइन प्लीज समबडी इज नोटिंग ऑल्सो या थैंक यू यदि आप देखेंगे पावर सेक्टर अपने आप में घाटे का सौदा है एक एक यूनिट जब भी ग्रिड में उपलब्ध करवाया जाता है उसमें प्रति यूनिट घाटा होता है जितना जनरेशन करिएगा उतना ही घाटा बढ़ेगा जब तक आप अंटरस यू रिड्यूस द थेफ्ट इन द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू मेक द पावर सेक्टर इकोनॉमिकली वायबल lot of efforts have been made to control theft in the power sector in the distribution point but unfortunately it has not succeeded we have to use technology to reduce the theft and the technology is available now like the prepaid chips that you have in the telecom sector we should have prepaid chip electronic meters at the distribution point particularly amongst the consumers in the industrial sector and other sectors the second point i want to make is that in our urge to elect electrify the largest number of villages we are transmitting electricity at a very low voltage lower the voltage higher the transmission losses in most of the developed countries the transmission is never be below 25 kva but in most of our rural sectors in india we are transmitting power at 11 kva resulting in much higher transmission losses the power ministry must try to convert all these low transmission lines into a high transmission lines and have at each consumer level distribution point a step down transformers so that the transmission losses are controlled and also the distribution losses would also be controlled the audit the energy audit at the distribution point you should fix responsibility of the person who is in charge of that distribution point most of the distribution companies are running in losses are not being able to pay back the generating companies most of the state electricity boards owe huge sums to the generating companies and most of the generating companies are becoming npa and therefore is one of the major problem in this country is that the whole power sector is economically viable and until unless you make this power sector economically viable we shall be always be power de deficit but i think there are number of old plants which are running at very low plant load factors modernization of these plants will not need much of a investment and therefore they can be taken up at the state level and at the ntpc level also the usual age of a power plant is about 35 to 40 years and therefore a modernization scheme should be taken up by the ntpc and the state electricity board on a priority basis but i think availability of coal is a major problem unfortunately most of our coal blocks which were allocated as per the government policy of the nda and the U upa landed itself into the 
investigation of the CBI. Most of these coal blocks have to be unshackled, unshackled from the CBI and unshackled from the Forest Environment Ministry. Until and unless you unshackle our coal resources, you will be importing high-priced coals from outside, raising the generating cost. Gas is an important fuel for our power sector. Unfortunately, number of power plants came up with gas as a as a resource for generation. But then the availability of gas is not there and thousands of crores of investment have gone waste because of that. I have always been a great votary of renewable sources of energy. I think we sh the time has come because of higher technology, every day the solar energy prices are coming down. We should be looking at hybrid grids which can sort of bring the wind energy, solar energy with our conventional energy so that the, through hybrid grids we could economize our power generation. I have always also felt, sir, that one of the major energy resources, the biogas, somehow has not been used to its full advantage. In the rural areas, the amount of subsidy that we are giving to the petroleum sector, if some of that is channelized through the biogas in the rural sector, it will be one of the most decentralized form of energy uh, uh, usage in the country. So every unit saved is energy generated. All buildings, all the new buildings, it should be made mandatory for these people, for the builders, to use innovative energy saving devices in the new buildings. CLF, LED bulbs now also throw up a great opportunity for energy saving. In most of the urban areas, sir, the local body, urban local bodies must look, look into this, that all these street lights should be either be lit using these CLF bulbs and solar uh, uh, powered also. So the other things which I wanted to say, sir, was that ultimately power is absolutely essential for any country's development. This is an opportunity for Honorable Minister. I think this is the first time in the country that a power minister also has a coal ministry. Now, when the end user and the resource minister is the same, this charge may have been given by Honorable Prime Minister for other reasons also. But the fact remains that, but the fact remains, he has a great opportunity before the power minister that that's, the end user also has in his authority the natural resource. Therefore, I, Honorable Sir, it's a great opportunity for Honorable Minister to look into all the issues which my Honorable Member of Parliament, Dr. Subiram Reddy, has, has uh, put up, and I strongly support his resolution. Thank you, Sir.